Hello everybody, it's Eric here again. Uh, it's been eating away at me, uh, not making videos for you guys. Um, I feel like I'm not doing my part in being in the community, but at the same time I have to get through school and, you know, I have to, I have to pass all my classes and I thank you for bearing with me about producing videos and being active on the server. Um, also really want to thank all the code helpers, contributors, and my moderators especially for, you know, keeping the server from becoming a dumpster fire. Um, <laughs> well, I'm not on, so yeah, um, that out of the way, I'm going to try to make an installer. Uh, I don't really have a script for this video just because I have been doing homework all day. I've tried recording this video before and I've failed about six times, so maybe seven times a charm, I don't know, we'll find out. Um, but I just want to say there are many, 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 many ways to make an installer, many different languages you can make the installer in, um, and many different ways in those languages to make the installer. I would encourage you guys to differentiate from this tutorial and, you know, maybe do the tutorial and then Try making an installer that's not based off the tutorial and see where you get. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Um, and by no means my way is the best way. It's not at all. And any people who are, you know, experienced in uh, like website development with CSS are probably going to cringe at this entirely and yell at me in the comments. But I, you know, <laughs> I, it's not my expertise area. I don't I don't know website development so much, but I'm learning quite a bit from just trying to make this tutorial series and, you know, by making my own websites. And that's how I'm learning, so bear with me on this. Um, my plan is to make the installer in Java, uh, because I know Java the best, but um, it's going to be all the UI is all with CSS and HTML instead of using uh, like kind of the basic J frames and all that stuff. I just don't know that very well. I don't know how to customize that very well. There's probably waves. Um, I also, I know some Java effects, which is what we're going to be using for this, but I just don't know much. So there's probably going to be much better ways of doing this. And if you guys could let me know in the comments or on my discord server, you know, better ways of doing it. Or if you come up with your own, um, stuff, show me, I would love to see installers. You guys made love to your clients. Just feel free to put them in the showcase section on my discord server, you know? Shameless plug of that. <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, so yeah. Um, first off, before I even do any coding, um, I'm gonna launch Paint, and I'm going to try to sketch out what uh, the idea for an installer that I have. Um, been kind of thinking what I want, and I've kind of off camera designed some stuff of how I want, um, it to look. But I'm, I always find that drawing my designs out for any UI project always helps me. Um, so, yeah. Um, see, this is my window. And this is the title bar. And we have, like, sample client installer v1.0. Something along the lines of that. Um, we got in the corner, got the X button. Uh, maybe we have like the example client logo in here. You know, this is just a super, super rough sketch of what I want. Um, it would be kind of cool to have like an image in here. Um, but I also kind of want some sort of like gradient. I think would be kind of dope if we did like some sort of like, oh, that's not what I want. I want a district. Okay, I can't do what I want. That's fine. You know what? I can. I'll select this and I'll do this tool. Some sort of like gradient would be kind of cool in here. Um, I don't really know yet. I don't know, might be kind of cool. And then I also want um, some text in here that's 
I kind of want to make this look like the Windows Hello thing, you know, I don't know if it's called that, but you know, like, when you install Windows, it, like, does, like, hello, we're getting things ready for you, you know, that kind of thing. So I want, like, status text kind of thing here, you know, like, and I want a fade animation on that, because that would look cool, in my opinion, and then, uh, let's put Maybe another logo here. Um, no, I don't know. I also kind of want a button, like uh, just a, like a the installer's done. This is like the exit installer, something like that. Just a simple button. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna try to do this. Um. That seems pretty reasonable, and maybe this is hidden when this when it's going. Um, I might also just speed all this up. I don't really know where this is going. Um, let's make a new project. Let's call it installer. Um, now I'm just gonna open this up in System Explorer. And in the source, I am going to just say open with Visual Studio Code. Um, you can use any editor you would like, any text editor. You can even use Eclipse to edit the files. Fine by me. I am just going to use Visual Studio Code um, to, to do it. So I'm going to make a few files, though. Make a new file, thank you. I'm going to do index.html. I want. Um, folder called assets, store all the assets for it. I want a style.css file, and I'm going to want uh, a new file called, um, ooh, let's just do script.js. Then what I'm going to do is first start out very basic HTML file, we got a head. Um, got a body. I'm in no way good at making websites. I've spent hours and hours on my own personal website, and I've gotten it to the point where I'm happy with it, but I'm like, I am no expert. So anyone who's good with websites is probably going to be like, Eric, this is a horrible tutorial. And I would agree. Uh, this is not going to be a in-depth HTML tutorial whatsoever. But first I want to link um, our style sheets. We're going to do rel equals... Style sheet. Did I spell that? Yeah, I think I did. Type equals text slash CSS. href equals asset slash style dot CSS. Um, that should be all for the head. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to make a class called no select. Um, so we cannot select anything because in an installer, in my mind, if you try to select text, you shouldn't be able to select any of the text. It just doesn't really make sense to me. So I'm going to make something that disables selecting text on any class that has no select. So we'll just put that on the body. Um, I'm going to create a few divs. Uh, let's just call this container, store everything, c-o-n-t-a-i-n-e-r, and then in here is going to be another div, which is going to store um, all like the text stuff, so let's name it process, oh god, that voice crack, jeez, uh, process, so this is going to be all this like the status text, can we do comments again in HTML, there we go. That is text goes here. Um, and then I would kind of like, um, like one of those like spinner things. So, you know, like when a process is going on. So we're going to just make another div and we're going to name it loader. Oh, it equals, um, just do a loader class. Probably should be using IDs here, but that's fine. 
and then insert loader code here. Um, then I also want to do a script for jQuery source equals assets uh, jQuery dot name dot js. I don't have that on me yet. Um, but I'll get it. Some people are just gonna be like, "Why use jQuery? It just normally I'm lazy." That that's it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just have used jQuery before and found it easy, and I'm lazy to go find the other stuff to replace it. Probably wise to replace it to reduce file size. I don't know. You can have an argument in the in the in the comment section. But I don't know. And then I'm gonna do asset slash or script. I haven't written anything in yet. Um, that should be that very simply. I want to add some status text before I forget. So let's do a few spans. Span ID is, uh, intro text. And we're just going to be like, hello, kind of like the windows. Hello thing. I don't even know if it's called that. I should probably look that up before I keep repeatedly saying, saying that. Um, we'll name this ID mode. So bad at coming up with names for things. Uh, just getting a few things ready. Um, span ID equals done. Can't spell. Ah, uh, okay, I am finished. Installing, and then I want one other one. Span ID equals close. Uh, and in here, uh, I'm gonna make a button. But instead of just saying button like that, I'm just gonna make my own element called BTN, so it doesn't have anything on it. There's, I think that's how HTML works. I need to look that up, but I don't want any stuff already on it. So I'm just gonna make my own class called BTN. Um, and we're gonna give it a class equals BTN. Probably could just use a div here or a link or something, but that's fine. Close installer. And then I wanna make an on click, which we'll call the function. Um, this where it gets tricky. I, yeah, I just gotta remember, remember this name feedback. I can spell it. Dot. Um, we'll just call it close. So feedback is gonna be an object, a global, uh, JavaScript object that our Java installer will create. Um, so we can like call functions between them. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, I think I'm not explaining this well. Uh, for the loader, I will put in the description, um, I have downloaded, if I can find it, here we go, let me get jQuery and the spinner, uh, let me go back here, here, I'm just really unorganized. Add jQuery, we're gonna add the spinner SVG, I'll give up for download. Um, nope, not that. That was my test code. We want that, and we want... Why did I open up that? I want this. Ah, I'm really not prepared, as you can tell, for this. I... yeah. I'm just gonna make an object. Type equals... Um, image slash svg plus xml i think uh data equals asset slash spinner these should probably be in folders um but that should give us our spinning thing and if i open up the live server look at that we have a spinner and all this text is not right like this it's not styled at all but look at we got a big spinner so well, that's what matters right now uh what i want to do is let me write some javascript really quick 
Um, so let me think for a minute. So I want on the document, on the document load, um, then we will pass in a function into here. Uh, and in that function, I want to say, um, what would I, what did I call this? Intro. So I'm going to say intro dot fade in for one second dot delay for 2000 seconds. And then let's fade out again and pass in a function. And in that function, we'll say uh, load is the next one. So we're going to say dollar sign. Since it's an ID, we'll say the pound sign. And we'll fade in over the course of a second. So I don't really know how this is going to look. But we'll find out. Um, and then I want a function called finished. Um, which means the installer finished installing, like on the Java side. And so then the Java side is going to call this. And so we're going to then say um, jQuery uh, pound load, I think is what I called it. Yeah, let's say load dot fade out. And then we're going to pass in a function inside of that. And then we'll say our loader class, which I think I just called dot loader dot fade out. And we want to say our done text, which I named done. Okay, that's easy. Done text dot fade in. Dot delay. Let's do another 2000 sec. Uh, sorry, I want to fade in over the course of a second. Then delay for two seconds, then fade it out again. Then pass it another function when it's done. And say, uh, what did I call this? Close. Pound sign. Close. Dot fade in over the course of a second. I have no clue how this is going to look, but maybe it'll look cool. Um, you're not really going to see anything here. So, I did get an error though. So, let me see what that is. Oh, that's just the. That's, yeah. That's some Chrome extension I have. I can't figure out what is causing that. That's my stupid little, yeah. Off topic, sorry. Now let's get to styling this a bit. Um, so, uh, for the styling, I will give up some of the code in the description to just copy paste because it's just kind of a pain to do it correctly. Um, so in the description, I'll label what this is. So, um, Gonna need two font faces. I will have the fonts up for download. Feel free to use your own fonts. Style this how you like. I'm just showing kind of how I'm styling it. And if you want to copy that because you learn better from copying code and editing it, great. Feel free to do that. More power to you. If you want to just skip all of this until I get to the Java part, go for it. Um, but I need to now copy the font files over. So here are the four font files. I'm going to copy them into the assets directory. Uh, I just don't know the difference between wolf or wolf and wolf two. Don't know. That's just when I got the fonts off of Google's fonts. Um, there's both of them, and this is the code that came with them. Probably could look up what they mean, but at this point, I don't really care right now. <laughs> um, so we're going to say HTML and body. I want to make the margin uh, zero pixels, padding zero pixels, 
and then overflow hidden, which will remove. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, remove scroll bars. I don't really want scroll bars um, on my screen. Uh, in an installer, I feel like that would just kind of look weird if there was just a scroll bar that you couldn't use or you could use, depending on whatever. I just feel like that would look weird, but maybe in your installer, that might be how you want it. You would have more options. Um, but I'm going to remove uh, those. And so if we look at how our HTML looks so far, um, our scroll bar is gone, and I cannot scroll with the mouse wheel. Uh, next, we want um, this background gradient thing. Now, thinking about it some more, I think it'd be really cool if there was like, this might be really cringy, but some sort of like Minecraft wallpaper in the background, but then like the gradients over it. I don't know. I feel like that would look cool in my mind, but you know, the now I say it out loud, it sounds cringy, but I'm going to go for it. Uh, and so I'm just going to, let's just Google Minecraft wallpaper. Okay, this one looks cool. Going for it. Probably should give them credit for the image, but I'm not releasing this, so. Uh, yeah. I don't know, take your own screenshot with shaders so you don't see someone else's work, but. I don't have a lot of time to record this tutorial, so I'm going to steal someone else's work and not give them credit, and I'm sorry. So whoever took this wonderful image, thank you so much. You are great. I can probably find the Redditor who posted that. I'll, put them, I'll link them in the description or something, if I remember to. Um, okay, I need to stop rambling and actually say useful things. Uh, container, which is what we are wrapping everything in. I'm just going to copy that because I can't spell. And we are going to say the background of that is going to be a linear gradient at negative 180 degrees with a color that's transparent. So let's do 116, 199, 205, and like 50% transparency. So like 0 0.50. Should give us kind of a neat color. I think I can, oh, I can't. Visuals, there we go, thank you. That's kind of a cool color. Um, I don't know why there's two blocks. That's some plugins conflicting with each other. Um, and then we're just gonna say this is a 0%. And then we do another one, RGBA. At like, that's another blue color, 85, 127, 161, and 0.087 for the transparency. Should give us another blue color. Uh, and then we're going to say 100%. And then We want to give it a URL for the background image, so it's going to be uh, bg.png in the assets directory. Or no, it wouldn't be in the assets directory because we're, yeah, that's a common mistake. Um, it's not in the assets, we're already in the assets directory because our style CSS is in the assets directory. And then I'm going to add important here. I don't know if I need to do that or not, but it seemed to fix things when I was prototyping this, so I'm going to put it in there. Someone in the comments will probably scream at me for using this because I, I know it's bad, but, you know, chill, please. And our background isn't showing. Why is it not showing? Why is it not showing? What did I do now? What did I mess up? Uh, let's go and debug this. And I will probably cut this out. Container. It says invalid property value. So what did I mess up on? Wish it would give me more detail, which I'm just kind of, it's kind of frustrating that it doesn't give you more detail. So we have our color, close parenthesis, comma, color, close parenthesis, that, comma, URL. 
feel like that's right, but apparently it is not, and I'm a little confused on why that is not right. Okay, I'm going to pause the tutorial here and Google a few things, because um, I'm a little bit confused now why that's not right. Right after I paused it, I realized what I did. I need to specify these are degrees. So now if we tab over, we should see, okay, our image is there, um, but it's not expanding the full window at all. So what we need to do is set the width and the height to be full. So we're going to say width is 100 uh, VW units and height is 100 V height or VH. Ooh, excuse me. And then I think you have to set position relative. I don't know if that's by default or not. All right. So here's this. Um, yeah, looks good so far. I would have thought the hello would have faded, which is a little concerning that it is not because we wrote some code. Oh. You know, would have really helped if that was script.js. So now if we reload this, we should see the hello fades out after a bit, maybe? No? Fade out is not a function. Why is that not a function? It should be a function, right? <laughs> Am I just like totally not seeing this? Fade out, not a function. So what did I do? <coughs> Maybe I need to move jQuery up here to be loaded on. No, it's really not. That is so bizarre. Why is fade out not a function? I'm really baffled by this. I'll be back. I really should have written a script for this. I said face out, not fade out. This is why I shouldn't do tutorials at 9.30 at night when I'm exhausted and I'm doing homework all day. Well, okay, so I guess this JavaScript works, and so let's write more of it. Or the CSS, I mean. So what else do I want to do? I want to position that loader thing. So let's say dot loader. Say the position is not relative, but I didn't want to say position all the way out. So let's say absolute. Uh, and we're going to say right, like, let's go 50 pixels. And bottom, 50 pixels. 
Yeah, let's give it a height of 40 pixels. And then we want to say dot loader object. And make sure that it has a width of 50 pixels because sometimes the browser doesn't realize that. I don't know why. So now we should see we get a spinning little loader in the corner now. So that looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. Um, and then we want to give um, those text elements. Um, we want to make those look good. So uh, let's say dot content. Let's give the text a line. Um, center. Uh, and padding top. 23%. And then we do content span for all the span elements in there. Why does it not like that? Do not use empty rule sets. Oh, I'm going to use empty rule sets. Too bad. Fight me. Uh, font family is going to be open sans. Uh, and then we'll do area. How about that? No, then we'll do three percent. And then let's give it a font size of forty-eight pixels. Font weight. I don't know. Three hundred sounds good. Uh, color, let's make them white. And we want to say display none, so they don't display until we have our fade-in animations. If we save that, and refresh this, did I spell content wrong? Well, I yeah okay so what I want to do yeah so I want another thing in here called content now I think about it Con content So I'm going to indent you and indent you. There we go. Now my text is kind of where I want it. Just getting a few things ready. Then we should be able to type in finish. Finished. And the text fades out. And then it just closes all. But we're going to make that a button. I also just realized that, that text faded really quickly because we forgot to add um, like the 1000 kind of thing to that. No, it just seemed. Actually, no. I don't know how to add a, an amount to that. I'm getting very nitpicky here. I don't know if that changed anything. Whatever, it's fine. Um, I just want to smooth fade out. So that's looking pretty good. Um, now I'm going to give the button pull it up for download as well because it took me a while to write and I'm just not going to write all of it on camera, and I also just haven't had time to optimize it, so there's still a lot of duplicate code in it when I initially wrote this. So, um, when I actually upload this to YouTube, I will optimize some of this because, like you can see, there's two colors here. There's two border colors. 
So I'll, I'll get rid of some of the duplicate stuff I was using to mess around with when I upload it. So yours is going to look a little bit different than this. Um, but yeah. So hopefully now when we type finish, so say, okay, finish installing. We got a nice button. We hover over it. It goes white and purple because why not? It looks cool in my opinion. Um, when we click on it, we get errors because feedback isn't defined, but we'll define that in our actual Java uh, application. Uh, the next thing we want to fix is, um, if I refresh this, we can select this text, and I don't like that. So we got to define our no select. No select. Now we're going to do a couple things here. So we're going to say, um, we're going to say WebKit touch. Call out none. It might grade out for you, but that's fine. WebKit user select none. This is gonna for all browsers. So this um yeah, I just don't know what browser is gonna do what, so might as well make it not select for all. Um because some browsers support different things and some don't follow the normal user select. So we'll do khtml, html, dash user select, none, Firefox, Mozilla, dash user select, none, Internet Explorer, user, select none and then defaultly in the non-prefix one user select none hopefully the java browser should use this one but depending on some machines it might not i don't really know better safe than sorry right i don't know uh so that should be all for the css um um uh, yeah I'm going to now pause the videos and start a new one for the Java thing.